Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at this special case. Look at this denominator, x squared plus x minus 6. Can we use synthetic division on something like this? And the answer is yes, we can. But this is how it's done. We have to take one special technique, one extra step, and you'll see how that works. Everything else starts out exactly the same. We take the numerator, we take the coefficients of the numerator, we write them down. So we have 1 minus 4 minus 11 and 30. We draw the line here, we draw the line there. Now what do we put on the left side? Well, we're going to put two numbers. We do want a 1x squared in the front, otherwise we have to divide the denominator by whatever that coefficient is. But here we have a plus 1 and a negative 6. Remember, we always change the signs, so we end up with a negative 1 plus 6. Okay? Everything else is about the same. We drop down the first number, we multiply negative 1 times 1, and we get negative 1. Then we take 6 times 1, and we get plus 6. Notice we'll take two of these at the time instead of just one. We add those two together, we get minus 5, and we add those two together, we get minus 5 as well. Hmm, minus 5 both times. All right, so what do we do now? Well, we draw another line down here, and we drop the, the first number down to minus 5, and then we do the same thing, well, well, except that we take the 30 and we drop it down again. So in other words, we now do the exact same thing, but we now take the last three numbers instead of all four numbers. Again, we take negative 1 times negative 5, that is positive 5, and plus 6 times negative 5, which is a minus 30. We add those two together, we get 0. Add those two together, we get 0. And notice that both of those are 0, so that means there's no remainder. Why do we need to worry about both of those? Because we had two numbers here, which means we look at the last two numbers here. They both need to be zero in order to have zero remainder. Now, if we drop the first number down right here, we get a one. Notice that this was x to the third, x squared, x to the first, and x to the zero. And over here, notice that in the denominator we had an x squared. So x cubed divided by x squared is equal to x, which means our first number here is x to the first power, and this is x to the zero power with no remainder. But in other words, the result of that division is x minus 5. So when we take the numerator divided by the denominator here, that equals x minus 5. Notice and take the division works great in this case as well. You just have to take two numbers at a time and two numbers at a time here until we have the last two numbers calculated. If the last two numbers are zero, there's no remainder. We take what's left here and that becomes the answer of our division. So again, synthetic division rules. It makes something like that relatively easy. And that is how it's done. A lot of stuff to remember. <laughs> okay, I can see that this is kind of new. However, I'll show several more examples. After you see three examples, you think this is a piece of cake. I think it jumped the shark. <laughs> I jumped the shark. <laughs> All right, well, stay tuned. I'll show you the other two and you say, okay, now I got it.